Exchange, the 19th of March, only on Dave. Stuart's been playing Cupid for his crocodile couple. He's about to see if he's got two lovers or two fighters. Well, they're keeping their distance at the moment. The blind date seems to have gone swimmingly. So this is what you expect from probably like a, a year relationship. She's got her back to him, ignoring him totally. You would have thought they'd been together for years. The future for these Caymans is looking a lot brighter than the past. You know the story on these, don't you? The mail was being sold in the back of a car. It's like the dodgy DVDs you get. Do you want to come and see my crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> the big one, the woman, a girl, sorry, she was actually found in a telephone box in Epsom. It was in a Hessian sack, and the person who was going to use the phone could see the Hessian sack moving and uh, called the police. But it must be a strange thing to find when you're going to make a telephone call. <laughs> but Stuart knows what could happen when he has to upset the domestic bliss and load them into this small wooden box. He'd take your hand off and God knows what she'll do. She'll probably, yeah. But it's not the case of they won't bite it off. It's a case they clamp down and they do what's known as a death roll. And then it's ripped, yeah, tears off, rips off and dislocate your bones and everything. So could be quite nasty to get caught by one of them. Boys, we're going to back the aircraft up so that that engine is actually there. So that they can actually walk on the carpet. So just mind your backs, because he's just going to start reversing now. The 16 VIPs have arrived. They're flying in one hour, but a 300-tonne aircraft is still in the wrong place. Anita needs it shifted. Um, what we want to do is to make sure that they can walk on the carpet all the way to the aircraft. So, and that engine is right over where the red carpet is going to go. So British Airways are actually going to push the aircraft back so that that engine isn't where it is now. Hopefully. The VIPs are hopefully just getting out of the bus and being asked security questions at the back of the suite. So I'm going to run and say hello to them in a minute. The fire safety team is still looking for the secret smoker. The cigarette was found outside an airport worker's restroom, but their inspection of the area has thrown up a more serious matter. A smoke detector has been covered in tape, preventing it from working, and it's right next to a chemical storage area. Without definite proof of the smoker's identity, all the workers will be reminded of the rules. Hello, chaps. Hello. Uh, that alarm that's just been caused is by smoking. There shouldn't be any smoking out here whatsoever. And by the uh, fag butts that are all out here, somebody's smoking. I mean, this is not good, is it? So we'll basically go and uh, see their duty manager and say, well, you know, let's sort it now. There and once the steps are on the aircraft, yeah. the steps are going to be so far over the carpet, you right. won't have enough room around. So we've, we've, we've got room to move the aircraft that way. We'll Up to you. Line, yeah. we'll You're going to put it on the other line and reverse it as and well. It Yet another problem. The plane has to be moved backwards and sideways, taking still more time. Time Anita doesn't have. Keeps you warm. You're cold. Cold, I'm sorry. How are you? Good to see Good you to again. You too. How's it gone? Fantastic. Good. You're frozen. Good. It's nippy. While the Olympic Committee gets schmoozed in the royal suite, there's time to solve the big problem. But now Anita's got 40 small ones. Bus load of kids have just arrived. Oh no! <laughs> right. So but they're we staying need to on, keep the them on the bus. Keep them on the Until bus. The last possible minute. Sixteen most important people at this moment are in that room, and I have forty children just outside the room. Chaos, 
waiting to flag wave. Are you getting this idea that I really don't think children should be allowed anywhere near the Royal Suite? Yes. With the alarm over, Dave can finally get the terminal back into working order. In this instance, we had the fire safety officer in the terminal and uh, uh, identified the problems in the area. So he'll have a word with the firm concerned and uh, uh, read and write act. The next time, the fireman won't be so polite. Oh, well, there you go, Luke. You've got to learn, haven't they? I don't get the manager down here. No worries, thanks a lot. <gasps> look, there they are, there they are, look. Greg's shift is about to end. I've got them, I've got them. But when it comes to customer care, he's never off duty. I wasn't going to surprise you, but now I said I would. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have a dance in between the two of them. Hold you on, let me just... Really hold on, do my jiggy jiggy. <laughs> hold on, do a jiggy jiggy. <laughs> jiggy jiggy. <laughs> Well, thank you very much yeah, for being here. Well, I'm cheeker than you two, yeah. that's what it is. Oh, sorry, hun, sorry. Yeah, I'm Don't cheeker worry. than you two. Enjoy. <laughs> Anita's red carpet finds itself welcoming the ordinary passengers. They are allowed to walk on the red carpet. That's fine, but not all the way down. And um, because they'll, I think they're just going to park over there. I don't mind, I'm not proud. They can have a go on the carpet. She still has to get the VIPs past the farewell committee. 40 uh, school children have turned up now uh, to wave them off. But, um, so just stand around and wait and see if anything does happen. Children at the suite! <laughs> they work with children and animals, is the saying, isn't it? The children are exceeding Anita's expectations, and she even braves a morale-boosting chat. Are you all freezing cold? <laughs> Jump up and down a bit. Do a bit of this. Be athletic. Well, I'm slowly getting everybody together. I just wish they'd hurry up, because uh, at the moment, I reckon we could put a bit in for the Winter Olympics. It's cold here. <laughs> Having had their fill of British bubbly, the VIPs are ready to leave. It's the moment of truth for Anita. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. To Anita's delight, even the children behaved impeccably. After two weeks of marital bliss, it's check-in time for the spectacled Caymans, and Stuart has to place himself in the jaws of danger.